Welcome back to Moons of Madness. Last episode, we went to the solar array, adjusted them so we got more power, and then I think in route, or maybe right before we started heading home, we got a report that there was a leak in the greenhouse. So now that we're back, we have to deal with that. It's our current mission. Investigate issues in the greenhouse. What's in my inventory, by the way? Can I do anything with these items? Like select, does that do anything? Select doesn't. Oh. So yeah, I can select that to then examine it as if I just picked it up off the ground or something. Not the flashlight. Uh, this I can, for some reason, if I just want to look at it. I mean, I guess it's a nice crowbar. Well forged. A crowbar is forged? I don't know. Uh, this is the greenhouse. Oh boy. Declan, the greenhouse is definitely in a sorry state. This has got to be fixed before the Cyrano lands. Well, the major issue is the water reclaimer. Now I'm reading it is offline. Work your magic. I love the- I love how all the fogginess looks. Oh, look at that! The colored fog. Colored from the lights. That looks so cool. Hope the plants are damaged from this. That's a lot of water. says two. I think I need a level two key card. Mine says level one. Looks like it needs a higher security level. Yep. Uh, Ina? What is it? The door to underground access is locked. I have instructed Dr. Van Buren to lock all doorways to critical projects. This is the culmination of my entire life's work. We do not want contamination. I can't fix it if I can't get to the pumps. That is an inconvenience? You are the inconvenience. <laughs> Fuck you. you. That is your job, yes? Figure it out? Okay. I'm an engineer, not a fucking space locksmith. Now this one I can get inside of. Where does this go? There's no signage that says where. Log 1, General Botany. Work begins on our gene splicing projects. Oh god, here we go. Great. My tasks are regrettably varied here on Invictus. This log will specifically track this initial work with plants. Data and notes will be tallied and put into the proper reports. This log serves as an overview and rare opportunity for me to opine about our studies. Ina recommends that I let loose a little sometimes. I certainly plan on doing so. Species include... Long list of the species. Not gonna read them. Log 2. Specimens propagated and placed in their containers. I've tidied the chaos in the lab to my more exacting standards. I can tell that Dr. Volkova does not fully approve, but I've seen her searching for an item here and there. She has begrudgingly accepted the additional efficiency. While the seeds germinate in the Martian soil mix, it gives me additional time to make adjustments. I've promised her that I will not over-organize the greenhouse area. Log 3. We do not have access to the needed equipment, an automated high-throughput genotyping system, at the least, to facilitate analyzing the seeds themselves, so we are forced to wait until they have germinated before taking action. In my opinion, this is insufficient. Dr. Volkova assures me that after our first round of tests, the powers that be will acquiesce. I have my doubts. I begin planning a backup arrangement if progress is stymied. Log 4. Control has offered rare support for Dr. Volkova's work. 
we have been granted declassified access to the research logs of their subsidiary, Plethron, specifically their work on the genetic engineering of their crops. While I would have preferred a more current listing as opposed to peer-reviewed studies published in journals, a few unexpected surprises have arisen. I can build on this. A setback today. Frustration is for weaker minds, as Ina might say. The bacteria- um, hold on a second. Frustration is for weaker minds? My god, pull that stick out of your ass. The bacteria we've introduced has failed to take hold in all specimens. The Sensaviria something something had exhibited an unusual growth cycle requiring fewer nutrients by nearly 30% and yet exhibiting standard growth patterns. Our attempts to isolate this anomaly was successful. However, the bacteria must have become exposed during transit. The seeds showed no similar traits during testing and growth patterns have been nominal. The project escalates, but not fast enough. We have stretched the limits of what has been done back on Earth. However, I know we could be doing more. If they aren't prepared to spearhead Ina's work, I know another who will. Persistence, Lucas. Persistence. Oh, so this is the journal of... Is this the journal of Lucas? I guess, if they said persistence, Lucas, persistence. That's the person that contacted us about uploading a program when we were at the solar array. The one that talked really oddly. Ina has put in another special request. For Orochi to continually disregard what is clearly a potential for groundbreaking xenobotanical studies seems disingenuous, misguided at best. I am vexed. Are these... Whose logs are these? I logged in with my own credentials. Why am I seeing a random selection of four botany logs? That doesn't make any sense. Alright, let's read them. Herein is a basic record of activity regarding the botany studies performed on the Invictus Mars mission, authored by Dr. Lucas Van Buren, myself who, in addition to other crucial responsibilities, has volunteered to serve as Dr. Volkova's part-time assistant. The species brought for study are noted for their higher air detoxification ability and preference for light conditions similar to those on Mars. Our first task is to evaluate the specimen's performance in ordinary potting soil brought from Earth to be compared with the results of the NASA Clean Air Study. Dr. Volkova has also hand-selected particular species for her own studies, including several carnivorous species. The colony of roaches, Blaptica dubia, did not survive the trip as hoped. Dr. Vokova says she can simulate the nutrients necessary. We are pleased to observe thus far that all gathered plant data meets our expectations, and we can proceed with experimental growth conditions at the conclusion of this trial. At that time, we will plant the same species in Martian soil supplemented with bacteria, to be gathered from the waste of the crew and animal test subjects. In my own time, I have outlined a plan to test a hypothesis on crew morale. In preparation for this experiment, and with Ina's approval, I have taken cuttings from a number of species for propagation. Once the right ratio bacteria is reached, the Martian soil serves as a proper substrate. Most plant specimens grow at normal levels, with only a handful experiencing suboptimal speeds. See table, air filtration plants, and their growth in Martian soil. Um, uh, Mauna Loa is the only specimen failing to grow. Dr. Vakulva has not yet pinpointed the cause. While admittedly outside the purview of our initial research scope, the introduction of Dr. Vakulva's new genetically modified version of Mauna Loa has outgrown previous iterations 300%. The new plant does require a not insignificant increase in saline and nutrient solution. However, within a hydroponic testing area, it appears to thrive. Its proximity to the Mauna Loa, the Mauna Loa 1, has even caused a marked increase in the original plant's growth. 
Theoretically speaking, this increased need for nutrients and expansive root structure should have caused the opposite effect. I've always admired Dr. Volkova's tenacity, but this result is exceptional. Perhaps I need to embrace her advice and step outside of my comfort zone in the future. Phenomenal work. So Mauna Loa went from the only specimen failing to grow in Martian soil to genetically modified and growing at 300% the normal speed. This is all such interesting research. And every time I read some new research, I can't help but think, okay, how is this going to be used to create monsters? Are we going to have some Martian bacterium plant monster? Oh, the thing referenced back there, the air filtration plants and their growth in Martian soil is an actual thing we can read. Uh, I don't think there's any reason to read off a list of plant species and yeses and noes in their different categories. <laughs> Is this thing just powered off, or...? No, I think it does have power. Yeah. I don't know, I'm just wondering why this room's so gloomy. Why are the lights... broken? Ooh. God, I love how this looks. I think that's where the source of the problem is up there. Wait, what is that stuff? No, is that... Is this how this whole thing starts? It's in the water supply or something and leaks out? Because this looks like that weird goo stuff that we saw in our quote-unquote dream. Do we need to do some pipe parkouring? Is this the life of an engineer on Mars? Oh. Did I close that or did that just like fall right after me? Because if that hit my head... Oof. Ah, truly the life of an engineer. Gotta pick up a handle to install into a pipe that allows me to turn off the steam so I can get to the real thing I gotta fix. Alright. Should be able to pass through now. I take it with me? Why don't you just leave that in? Like, is that how it's supposed to work? Nothing has a handle and you just have your one own handle with you? Huh. I mean, I guess that makes some sense. It'd save on resources. You wouldn't need handles for everything. At 
It's weird though. <clears throat> ah, now I'm behind the door that I don't have security clearance to go through. Okay, this is a really creepy place. They should have sent a plumber. Yeah. What a mess. We gotta keep an eye on that steam so I don't get burned. Shit! Dr. Volkova? What is that? Yeah, I knew this place was cursed. That is one of the tentacles. those plant experiments been going? <laughs> this game did such a, a good job of building up this pretty serious and believable mood, but then now, as a space... A space engineer. We have to deal with steam puzzles? I mean, they're not even really puzzles, just steam. That's so silly! I'm sorry, but it's really silly. Sounds like there's something behind me. I heard splashing. Oh, there's more of that stuff. Oh, Jesus. I wonder how long it took it to grow this much. Ina, the entire mangrove root structure is contaminated. There is a viscous black substance like oil. It seems like it's spreading. It is not contaminated. It is changing, evolving. It's beautiful. It is reborn. This doesn't look right. Oh, constant interruptions. I do not have time to explain myself to you. Might want to tell someone else. I think we should tell someone else. I love the way it pulses, <laughs> like it's breathing, expands and contracts.
Finally, the water reclaimer. How can they sound so casual? The space station is being taken over by basically alien looking growths. And the person who's responsible for the area is glad that it's happening? I'd be pretty concerned right about now. Level two. Turn off the sprinklers, find the missing components. Jesus, this can't be Lucas again. Who just takes this stuff apart? Now I have to find where he put three water reclaimer pieces? Oh, this is what you're talking about, these? Probably can't connect. No, wait, I can? Even without the water reclaimer units? Sprinklers need to shut down prior to water reclamation activation. Denied. But whose card is that? Lucas Van Buren. His ID. At least he has a higher clearance level. Well, Lucas, I'm gonna need to borrow this for a bit. Should be able to open these doors now. Wait, no. Take, take, take. That's not going to allow me access to this, though, is it? Never mind, it is. Don't you need a password, though? Or can you just log in with your card, I guess? Anyway. Um, three logs. Water reclaimer offline. As part of a recent string of experiments, I've moved the water reclaimer cells to other districts within the greenhouse. The backup cells are still in production, so the water reclaimer will remain offline until my experiments have reached a conclusion. While the others may see this as irresponsible, they need not fret. Simply returning the cells and reverting them to the proper setting will replenish our water supply. If I were not splitting my duties among, amongst excursions to potential sites of interest, medical practice, and Ina's agricultural ambitions, I would surely be more thorough in practical cleanup matters. As it is, we must all make the necessary sacrifices. A draft. Note on recent experiments. Dr. Volkova. Uh, Ina, I'm sorry to bother you with this. No, be concrete. Address issue directly. I wanted to tell you that our time here in the station has meant a lot to me. I just worry about your state of mind lately. I've always admired your... No, return later. Basic outline. Ask Ina about Project Arbomore. Ask Ina about the new seeds, the strange black roots. Should I ask in person? So all this stuff seems to originate, at least when it comes to the crew, it seems to originate from Edna. Although I suspect it originally, originally, originally comes from probably Mars and the samples we've been taking and stuff like that. Perhaps the site that Declan found close to here. I don't know, but this site is a pretty recent thing. That site that Declan found is pretty recent, I'm pretty sure. This has been going on for a while. I don't know why I left the chair. Reclaimer Diagnostics. Water Reclaimer Pump Offline System Disconnected. Non-Critical Error Manual Reactivation Required. Filtration Effectiveness 76%. All looks good, I guess? I have no idea. What should the PSI be? Oh, that's... Yeah, a new keycard isn't going to do anything for that door, but this one, it will. Lucas, the pieces for the water reclaimer are missing. Where are they? Uh, the, the reclaimer pieces are in their proper receptacles. More specifically? 
Follow the colored pipes. <laughs> Fuck you, Lucas. Sorry, hang on. I'm needed elsewhere. This place is so cool looking. It's so thick, the fog. Yeah. Hmm. What does this thing do? I found the environmental control console. Great. That's the last thing you need to clean up the greenhouse. But first, you need to restore the water reclaimer and shut off the sprinkler valves. Okay. I really think we'd be a lot more concerned about what we're seeing. A lot more concerned. Yeah. This would be a little bit alarming. Holy shit, Ina! Dr. Volkova, where are you? Something is seriously wrong. The infection is everywhere. Not infection, it's evolution. Adaptation. Perfection. My children, they grow so quickly. Wrapped in creeping rootstocks, where sap and blood coagulate. Do not fight it. Allow it to blossom. First in human history. The merging of two life forms. Shane, you just realized now that holy shit, the infection is everywhere. Just now. These scenes look so cool, though. Weird pulsing goop and fog and all these different lights and plants and stuff. This game looks really good. Plants are so cool looking. They all luminous. Toilets. Oh, evil. This one's almost open, but it's not big enough for me to fit through. I'm not bothering to follow the pipes at all, by the way. I'm just exploring around randomly. Well, there's this area, but... I can also go further up, right? Yeah. Here's one. Just find the other two so we can clean up this mess. Oh, that's so cool. Stuff is planted there. I don't know if that's some sort of hydroponic thing. 
Like, it looks like it's meant to spin. I wonder if the spinning action is just for you to be able to access it. Like, access all of them. Just spin it to the right one. I don't know if that's practical at all, but it looks cool. I'm kind of losing my mental image of places I need to go because it's so kind of open right now. Like there's up even further. I think the sprinkler's up there, so I definitely need to go up there and turn that off. But like, where does this go? And then there's another door down there. And then all the way at the bottom down here, there's a hatch. Let's start from the top. the ambience of this ambiance aha turn off the sprinklers one of two oh there's is this walkway falling apart also, there's another sprinkler, probably on the opposite side, I would imagine. Uh. Yeah, let's get off this walkway. I just want to spin this thing. Can I just spin it? I don't want to go in there. <laughs> All right, let's go. they're going into or came from the plumbing system. That's just blood, isn't it? I've seen lots of nasty fluids and stuff, but not just outright blood. Like, this stuff is like weird, rusty sort of substance, although I know it's not rust. This is not that. Hit containment breach before, and we just heard some creature jump through glass. So, yeah, some walking human esque creature is on the run now. is loose. Uh, something? What? Something. I don't know yet. 
That's where it came from. She'll get Lucas to talk. He should know what Volkova's been doing in there. Just hang tight and get that reclaimer online. It was in a cage. I'm like, what kind of experiments were you doing with plants that you needed cages? God, I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at exactly, but those are hands. He, like, human hands. Right there. Oh, that is really creepy looking. This weird blob that looks like it has vaguely human skin and very human hands. This door's fucked. Okay, now we're back to the main place. So I have two out of the three water reclaimers I need. Follow the pipes, huh? Well, I don't know which pipe colors are associated with the ones we already got. To be honest. Like, did we get that one? Like, we already went into that building, so I assume we got that one. Perhaps it's the blue one. No, that one shows up as red up there. I can see the light. Whoop. Yeah, it's got a red light on it. This one has a green light next to it, so this is the one we need. So I missed something in here. Oh. <laughs> For some reason, I didn't think that it would allow me to fall off of something and die. I was very wrong. It lets you. Ah, found it. I never went inside of this door. Right next to, uh, I think this was our first recovery unit that we got. There's a ladder that goes up that we took to the sprinklers. We came from down there. I never went into this door. Jeez, they really let these plants take over. We go. <laughs> and then I, what the hell? And then I need to move it again to get out the other side. Also have to turn off the sprinklers manually, or the system won't reboot. Already done? Nope, don't put that back in there. Oh jeez. Is someone there? Let's get these things in. Ah, so they're specific to the color and they also have different settings marked on them. 
Blue one's 70, red one's 50, yellow one's 90. A unit with a blue cap, the color corresponds with the color pipe above the water reclaimer. Yeah, I mean, this should be pretty easy. This one gets red. Oh, wait a minute. Active. Oh, so it does need to be set manually, though. Um. How do I know what it's supposed to be? Some weird they combine in a weird way puzzle, isn't it? Do they all need to equal 80? Is that what that's saying? Well, if they all need to equal 80, then the first one on the left should be very low. Maybe the lowest? The middle one affects all of them. Uh, this is a yellow one. This is a weird-ass puzzle. It needs to be 80. I love how shiny these things are. They just look really good. Wiggle, wiggle. Well, if it needs to be 80... Does it need to be 80? Is that what it's saying? Because 35 is not going to equal 80. Um, I don't, I don't think that 80 thing is anything. Because the numbers seem awfully large. 25. No, I think it is supposed to be 80. Looking at all his numbers. Okay, well, this one's never going to equal 80. Unless I think I set it to 50, and then maybe it will. 50 plus... 35? That's... I don't quite understand. I don't know. Stick it in. Why not? Let's see what happens. <laughs> Wait, what? split across multiple things, it also splits the number. Meaning the 35 in the middle is going to three different things, so it's 35 divided by 3, which doesn't divide evenly, but whatever. It's ending up with 12, 12, 12. I see. Interesting. Then, should I just do some math? Okay, I think I got it. I didn't need, I didn't really need to do math so much as I just needed to write all the numbers down and just look at them and then it's pretty easy to do at that point. Uh, so the red one only uh, the values for the red one only go to the red one and no others. So its value is what it is. It doesn't get split into anything. Obviously, it cannot be 120 because that would be over the amount. It needs to be um 50. Yeah, 50. The yellow one affects all. It gets split three ways into all these three different things. So 50 plus 30 is 80. And 90 divided by 3 is 30. Because it's going to go to these three different ones. So it's going to give 30 to red, 30 to itself, and 30 to blue. So it needs to be 90. That will make red 80. Red will now be 80. Yellow is now 30. And blue is now 30. Blue goes to both the yellow one and itself. So blue needs to be set to 100, which is going to be divided in 2. So it's going to be 50 to yellow and 50 to itself. 50 plus 30 is 80. Done. All right, up and running again. Just need to switch on the environment control console. Should be right outside the door. I'm sure nothing is going to go horribly, catastrophically wrong when I do that. <laughs>